and welcome back to the channel. Since we're now into spring, I thought I'd do a video talking about e-bike sales because right now, as I say, we're into spring and there's some pretty darn good spring sales going on. So depending on what bike you're looking for, what brand name or style of bike chances are pretty good that that bike is on sale and so i thought i'd talk a little bit about e-bike prices and what you can expect because if you're a new e-bike rider or getting into the game a new rider then you uh are probably wondering what the uh, cost of an e-bike is so to me, for a decent e-bike, and this is probably the biggest uh, price range that I would say that most would spend, would be in the one to $2,000 range. And if you're lucky and get one on sale, sometimes you can get a pretty, pretty good deal on bikes. So for example, if you bought a $2,000 bike, regular price $2,000, sometimes you can get that bike for 25% uh, off, like $1,500, um, which is a pretty good deal. For example, this bike I'm riding right now is a really nice bike. This is the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. And these bikes uh, come in uh, step through or step over and they vary a little bit in the price depending on which one you're looking for um but uh, the the uh one that i'm riding is the step over and if you buy it in the latte color it's only 11.95 and this bike is regularly priced at 15.95 so that's a nice 400 dollars savings and uh I have to say that this bike might be as good as you can get for $11.95. It's a really good deal. Like, I don't know if you can get anything better in this price range. Honestly, it's a it's a class three e-bike. It's got a cargo rack on the back. Very smooth ride. I'm right now in the pedal assist level three and I'm in gear eight and I'm just comfortable comfortably riding along here at 13 14 miles per hour but it depends on the style of bike you like if you want folding bike or if you want a cruiser which this is style Uh, maybe you want a moped style more like uh, like the Lyric Graffiti. Uh, there's another bike that's currently on sale, the Lyric Graffiti. If you buy the color Eclipse, they're currently running for the dual battery at $22.49. That's a $750 savings. That's a really good deal. And then there's the dual or a single battery uh, which is running at 1949 which is $650 savings so pretty good deals right there you got to watch too because once in a while there'll be a bike company that charges you for shipping most don't I gotta say most do not charge for shipping it's included in the price but there are some, I'll give you an example. If you were to buy the Wired Freedom, um, that, that bike is $19.99, but then there is a charge for shipping. And another uh, company that normally charges for shipping is Super 73, but right now, as I record this video at least, they, those um, Super 73 bikes are uh, free shipping right now. 
so that's a good deal because uh let's face it super 73 are a little bit can be a little bit pricey on their bikes so anytime you can get free shipping that's a plus so yeah i'd say i'd say if you most most bikes like people would be happy with a bike in the one to two thousand dollar range if you want a little bit higher power a little higher end you're going to be paying three thousand and north of three thousand dollars So it depends first of all I guess on what you're willing to spend and then what style of bike do you want when you start hunting around uh, but like I say this is a good time to uh, to get a bike first of all we're just into spring now so the weather if it's not already where you are is going to get nice uh, for riding and and the prices are really good right now so Take advantage while you can. And I just mentioned a few bikes, but there's several other companies that, uh, like I say, just do your homework and look for one that looks like it might be right for you. When I bought my first e-bike, which was the Rad Rover 4, I had never had an e-bike, never ridden an e-bike. The first e-bike I rode was that when I when it arrived. And so I just did my homework and did research on it. And at the time, there wasn't as many e-bikes to choose from like there is now. There's all kinds out there. And I learned from riding, you know, for my next purchase, what I'd be looking for or what I'd like. And so I did that and then that's how you just kind of like by riding the bike you get to know where you think you can improve your ride you know with the bike maybe maybe a bike that has a little more um, torque or something you know that'll get you up hills and stuff like that but if you just want a uh, commuter bike and you're riding to and from work and there's not too many crazy hills then uh, a bike like this might be right up your alley. It's got the, like I say, the cargo rack in the back to carry stuff. It's a very nice, smooth ride. I love the swept back handlebars. And I'm liking the brakes too on this bike. They're really good. They have good stopping power. And I like to use the throttle to get me going. It's, and then start pedaling. It's really nice to get off to a nice smooth start without having to try to pedal from the very start. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I thought I'd talk a little bit about e-bike sales this spring here right now. And uh, it's a good time to... Uh, Get yourself a bike if you don't already have one or maybe upgrade from what you have. Maybe it's time um, for you and you want to uh, upgrade to something a little bit, a little bit more advanced. It's a good time to do it. Well, thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just that subscribe button. Thank you very much for supporting us. If you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road.